I was a curious kid. I was really observant, watching how people talk to each other, listening for tone, and paying attention to the small things. I saw what a big helper my mom was. She gave money to people who needed it, even when we barely had any. I grew up in LA. It was just me, my mom, and my four sisters at home. I was sandwiched between girls and longed for a brother or father connection. I tried out for football in the seventh grade. I was on the field with kids who had been playing since they were four or five years old. But I met a coach who wanted me on his team. And my cousin started putting these ideas and names in my head like, oh, Darrell Reeves is a great player. Randy Moss is a great player. They make tons of money. Malik, you could do that too. At the time, my mom had been laid off from her office job. She was taking a taxi cab to work at Michael's, doing whatever she could to keep us afloat. We were moving around a lot, all six of us in one bedroom apartments and studios. I thought football really could benefit my family in the long run. I could be that investment. In high school, I was a key player on both sides of the ball, scoring touchdowns and making tackles. I was blessed with three scholarship offers to play in college. I ended up at San Jose State, where our team went 7-1 and one my junior year. We were conference champions for the first time in 29 years. <laughs> a pro football career was within reach. My last, sem my last semester, a friend told me about Braven. I thought it was just another class I had to take, but it was much more. My small group came from different backgrounds, but everyone was the first in their family to go to college. We got to learn everyone's skills and weaknesses and supported each other because iron sharpens iron. Instead of a normal job search, our leadership coach taught us to think about our career by getting to know ourselves first. There was a module all about brainstorming what we like and what we were good at. I had to laugh because I always found a way to revolve it right back around football. I thought public speaking, mentoring, coaching, but Braven kept introducing me to new things. They brought people in to talk about careers in cybersecurity and HR, and I got a three month internship as a solutions consultant at Adobe, a position I've never heard of before. <laughs> I helped potential customers think through their problems using Adobe products and developed a cheat sheet focused on Adobe's real-time data platform. Everyone was so friendly, people I've never met messaging me, asking if I wanted to grab coffee, telling me what they did at the company, and making sure I felt welcomed. I always followed up to connect on LinkedIn, just like Braven taught us. <laughs> but it wasn't until a few months ago until I felt the full impact of Braven. After San Jose State, I had one year left of eligibility, so I signed with another college team in Louisiana, hoping to put out more stats and catch the eye of NFL scouts. I battled through injuries during camp and was healthy enough to play the second game of the season. 20 minutes in, I tried to knock the ball away from the wide receiver. I landed wrong and tore my ACL. At my stage, it's like taking five steps back. It's a season-ending injury. All I wanted to do was call my mom. But just after the half, a teammate came out with the same exact injury as me. We sat on the sidelines and he was crying. He said, this is all I know. All I know is football. I kind of started crying too. I was like, I feel you. I feel you. Before Braven, I never thought about a plan B. But because of Braven, my leadership coach, my internship, the connections I made, I realized I could see a life for myself after football. I knew I could be happy with that life. I told him if you, need ever, if you ever needed help, I can help you find something else down the line. Growing up, I was the kid who would open the fridge, close it, open it again, hoping something would appear. <laughs> <laughs> that kid who got the elephant on the chest feeling late at night when I was supposed to be asleep, but heard my mom crying. Everybody wants to be the next sports icon. There's a lot that can come with it, money, fame, deals, and NFL salary starts at $700,000. But a lot of people chase so hard at this dream because it's the only dream they can see. There are so many talented young people eager to get their foot in the door, people who want to make a difference in a company but are bound by their environment or don't have the guidance they need to get there. Football was my ticket to an education. I got a degree without any debt. 
I was the first in my family to graduate from college. And now I'm working towards my master's. But unless you're Tom Brady, football is not a forever career. <laughs> Braven is my ticket to a forever career. I'm still getting used to my new dreams. First, I want to be a great father, the kind of father I never had. Right now, <laughs> right now I'm interviewing. I have my sights set on a position at a tech company. And one day, I want to be a CEO. Because of Braven, I know that's possible. Lastly, I want to thank my rock, my best friend, my, mo my motivator, my mom who is here with us today. Mom, I love you with all my heart, and thank you. <laughs>